Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at why do people disable these security features and we're going to go into what features these are in this video. So first off, when you install Windows, it normally installs itself with administrator rights, i.e. as administrator. That means you can install and uninstall and make changes to your computer. This may be a super risky uh, thing to do. Now, why is it not good practice? Well, leaving your computer in administrator mode opens up many security risks, including viruses, malware, and other nasties that can get onto your system. The next thing that people like to uh, tend to disable is UAC. If you look here in the UAC, which is your user account control, you need to stop turning this feature off. It's there to protect you. This adds another layer of security. And with this feature turned off, you can see never notify me uh, when applications try to install software or make changes to my computer or make changes to my Windows settings. Not recommended to turn this off. But yet people seem to want to turn it off because they can't be bothered to be pestered with pop-up nag boxes to say, do you approve this to run on your computer? This feature is there to protect you, so stop turning that feature off. Another thing is, if you put it to this level, it says notify me only when applications try to make changes to my computer. Do not uh, dim my computer. The default setting is this one here, where it says notify me only when applications try to make changes to my computer. Do not notify me when I make changes to my Windows settings. Now, this setting is recommended if you're familiar with applications and you visit unfamiliar websites. Now, this one here is always notify me when applications try to install software and make changes to my computer. I make changes to Windows uh, settings and also recommended if you routinely install new software and visit unfamiliar websites. Now, a lot of people will turn this feature completely off and then they wonder why they get infected. So what is it doing to your computer? Well, I'll show you here when I go to install this application. Straight away, smart screen will say malicious file. The app may cause damage to your device. Sensitive personal data may be at risk. Application, and it says unknown publisher. Ignore Windows malware uh, warning and run anyway, or do not run. So it gives you that option to bail out of installing a piece of software or malware on that computer and it's just a little safety net that is in place to protect you and people complain about how bad windows is at getting infected and yet people continue to disable its security features next you'll get the user account control popping up saying unknown publisher and do you want to continue to install this there's a yellow bar telling you uh, do you want to allow this application from an unknown publisher to make changes to your computer? If you say yes and it's malicious, you've just installed a piece of malware. That's how simple it is. Now, it's not foolproof, but it is another step of or layer security on your computer. Another feature is this here inside your Windows security settings where people turn off smart screen. This is the other feature that people seem to think is useless or it just gets on their nerves when they're doing things online. By disabling smart screen, you're going to leave yourself vulnerable to uh, situations just like that, where it's just going to allow that to install itself on the computer without having any sort of notification on whether you want to install it or not. It's just going to install it on the computer. And smart screen's there to protect you from uh, nasty apps that you can install in the Microsoft Store or potentially unwanted applications. It will block those as well and a bunch of other stuff that it can block on the computer. So having these settings on when you're browsing the web, it will protect you. So stop turning these features off like I see a lot of people recommending in some sort of Windows tweak uh, video where they're talking about tweaking Windows and disabling smart screen or even disabling Windows Defender. Now I've shown people how to disable Windows Defender. But I also tell people that if you are going to be doing that, make sure that you use another antivirus program if that is what you're going to do. It's always advisable to leave something on the system protecting you. Now I wouldn't advise uh, disabling all of your protection on Windows because that's just foolish. But there was a pop up there that said in smart screen run anyway. And if that is what you want to block, you can do. So if you've got a bunch of computers that you want to take out the run anyway to stop people from installing that particular type of software, you can do inside group policy. 
you can go to this location here and basically all you need to do is configure Windows Defender Smart Screen to literally stop them from clicking on Run Anyway to install, you know, sort of unknown publisher sort of software. So inside this uh, configuration here, hit Enable and you can see Warn and Prevent Bypass. This is a nice feature that will basically prevent anyone from clicking the Run Anyway button if it's high risk software. The downfall side of this is not all software is malicious and some of it is just unknown publisher and it will flag up like this. But if you want to prevent people from clicking the run anyway button, you can set this option up here. And especially in a school or a business or some sort of, uh, you know, IT room where you don't want people installing malicious software, you can set this uh, setting up here and it will prevent people from clicking run anyway and getting that system installed with unknown publisher software. It's a nice little protection there that you can add. Now, obviously, that can be a bit difficult if you like to install software from unknown publishers sometimes, and not all of it is malicious. So with that feature on there, it won't give you that option. Now, also, it's advisable to stop using administrator account and use the standard account. Now, using the standard account is important from a virus perspective because it means that viruses cannot just be installed system-wide behind your back. Using a standard account for daily use can reduce the risk from virus and malware infections. It's not foolproof, but it is another layer of security which you can add to your computer. And you'll notice I say layer of security because you can keep adding layers of protection, i.e. firewall, antivirus, you know, standard user, smart screen, UAC, and you can keep building up these layers to protect you and stop you from getting infected. Now, Windows is heavily used around the world by billions of people, and this is why it's attacked on a regular basis by uh, malware creators and viruses and ransomware. Now, no operating system is immune from attack, including Linux. As much as Linux people think that their operating system is immune to everything, it's not. Now, Linux has got its holes and flaws and security issues, just like Windows does. And also, there's ransomware that can actually attack Linux as well as well as nasty Trojans and uh, malware. It's just a different type of an attack compared to Windows. Now, Windows as a desktop operating system has a much bigger audience. And of course, that is the reason why they're going after that bigger audience, because there's more people using Windows than there is Linux at a desktop operating system level. But this is not about Linux and Windows and which one is best. This is about a security settings that you should be leaving enabled on Windows to protect yourself because you're more vulnerable with these settings disabled than you are having them on. Yes, you're going to have to click on that button every single time, but it keeps you safe from malware or safer from malware. Anyway, but that says my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.